Parasite has six Academy Award nominations and is the first film not in the English language to win Best Picture, winning four Oscars tonight. You're tuned in to Tom Fuller. 상상도 해본 적이 상상도 해본 적이 없는 일이 실제로 벌어지니까 너, 아, 일단 너무 기쁘고 아, 기쁩니다. 예. We never imagined this to ever happen. We are so happy. <웃음> They like you start off the movie kind of thinking it's one thing, and it turns out to be something totally different. Um, like it's about normally a parasite is something that leeches off of something else in order to live. So like you think about a parasite going into your body, sucking out the nutrients and the blood and the vitamins and whatever else so that they can stay alive. <clears throat> and so, um, that's pretty much the idea of parasite where they, all find a rich family and then they start to kind of con them into giving them their money and uh it without giving away too much they find out that there are other parasites already on this family so i'm uh, i found him This is the guy who is super upset. It's been all over Twitter. He is super upset that Parasite won Best Picture. And uh, I believe they also won Best Foreign Film. And his main issue is if you win Best Foreign Film, you should not also be allowed to win Best Picture. That is an award for an American film. So, Well, guys, I did it. I said I was going to do it. I'm a man of my word, so I did it. I only saw a clip of this on Twitter where he is just screaming and yelling about how mad he is that Parasite won. Last night, I sat down and I watched Parasite. And now I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about the best picture of the year. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. If you're finding me for the very first time, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, new to me, you don't really know what's going on, after the Oscars, I kind of made a video where a lot of people did not like, they called me out. Ah, this isn't the video? What? Got on it, they shared it on Twitter, it went viral, and I began a lot. I thought this was the video. No. <laughs> There it is. Parting with my friend. You got to be shitting me, right? This has to be a joke. This absolutely has to be a joke. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. If you're new to the channel or if you're a repeat viewer, do me a huge favor, don't hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it if you do, but hit that like button. That's more important because the, the more times people hit that like button, the better the chance of YouTube sharing this video with other YouTubers and it gets more exposure. And I really- I'd rather get the subscribe button. Actually, I'd rather get the bell. You hit the subscribe button, then you hit the bell. That means you get a notification on your phone or whatever devices you have every time I come out with new content. Go to the channel, hit subscribe, hit the bell. I really want this video to get the exposure because I'm a, I'm a little bit upset, okay? I'm a little bit upset. So I just got them watching the Oscars, something I do every year with my buddy Adam, Film Master Adam. And um, Parasite won Best picture here is the problem i have with parasite winning best picture it was already was nominated and won for best foreign film so if best foreign film is the equivalent to best picture for the foreign films why is it then allowed to be nominated for best picture 
Can someone explain that to me? I'm sorry. I'm very judgmental. I know this already. I'm sorry. I apologize for this. But the way he talks bugs me so much. Oh, my goodness. He keeps saying pitcher, like P-I-C-H-E-R, pitcher. Like somebody who throws a ball from a mound to a catcher. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. It's picture, not pitcher. And he sounds like he's slurring his words. He sounds drunk. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be rough. It isn't like, you know, the Oscars has, you know, best picture and best United States film. <laughs> I can't do this. United States. United States. What? United States. Oscars has, you know, best picture and best United States film. <laughs> United States. <laughs> right? It's like we don't have two chances to win a movie, right? Like Joker 1917, Ford vs. Ferrari, Marriage Story. 1917 is a British film made by Christopher Nolan, who is British. I believe it was made by Christopher Nolan, right? Sam Mendes. CB is an English film and stage director. Director. Okay. So yeah. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I don't know why I said Christopher Nolan. I knew it wasn't made by Christopher Nolan. I'm thinking of Dunkirk, but it's still made by a British guy. So it's not an American film. It was not made in the United States. They didn't have two chances to win an Oscar. It was best picture and best picture only. It wasn't best U.S. film, best foreign film, then best picture, right? But no, Parasite had the chance to win best foreign film and best picture. So why, like, I don't get it. There's a reason why they made the best animated category because Beauty and the Beast was nominated for best picture and then the Oscars decide we're gonna make its own little category which, which I'm okay with to be honest with you. So why do we have best foreign film yet these movies are then qualified to enter best picture? True, we can sit there and say, well, just because it's foreign doesn't mean it's the best picture. That's fine. But out of everybody in the United States of the motherfucking America, how many people actually fucking seen Parasite? Can someone please raise your goddamn hand and tell me, for the love of Christ, how many fucking people in the United States of the motherfucking America saw Parasite? I saw Parasite. Before I saw this, I saw Parasite. Uh, and I was planning on seeing it. The day that it won, I had already been talking about seeing this movie. And then the fact that it won just made me want to see it even more. Me and my girlfriend watched it. It is entirely in another language. We had to read subtitles the entire time. As you all know, I hate reading. I have an aversion to reading. But I read the subtitles the whole time. Sat really far back so I could see the whole screen while reading the subtitles. So one thing I hate about reading subtitles is that you're normally missing the entire movie when you're reading subtitles. But in this, I was able to read the subtitles and watch the movie. Parasite was an amazing movie. It was very, very good. Now, the other movies that were up nominated for um, Best Foreign Film was Parasite, Les Miserables, uh, Corpus Christi, Honeyland, and Pain and Glory. Um, I don't think any of these are British films. So actually, it may be that British films are not considered uh, foreign films. I'm not sure. But 2017, one way or the other, he keeps saying, in the United States... How many people in the United States has seen this movie? Why would you let a movie that wasn't made in the United States uh, win Best Picture? Best Picture. So uh, that 
uh, the 1917 is was not made in the United States, which was also a great movie. Uh, 1917, I honestly would have picked over Parasite to win Best Picture. Okay, I don't know what Parasite is. I don't give a shit about Parasite. It's fine. It won Best Foreign Film. You know why? Because it's a goddamn foreign film. Joker, and look, I don't care if Joker didn't win. I wanted to win, but it could have been Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Marriage Story, 1917, Ford v. Ferrari, Little Win. I don't give a shit. But fucking Parasite. Lots of these reactionary guys uh, wanted joker to win because it pissed off the lefties and triggered them and they were all upset that there wasn't a trigger warning and that it was as violent as it was and all of this other stuff and so uh that's why somebody like him loves joker now he also has a lot of comic book stuff behind him but joker was nothing like comic book stuff it wasn't like the avengers it wasn't like anything marvel was put out it wasn't like anything uh, it wasn't like Batman movies or something like that. It was nothing like any other comic book movie ever, okay? This was a very artsy-fartsy movie that somebody like him should not like. The, the fact that he likes it means it has to be because he, he enjoyed the fact that lefties were upset about it. Which won best foreign film, best director, best picture. I'm sorry, if you won best foreign film, you should automatically be invalid to even be qualified to win best picture. You should. And it pisses me off because Joker, let's talk about Joker. Okay, look at United States of America right now. What is more important to our culture than the Joker? About a movie that talks about mental illness not being taken care, taken seriously. About how people in high places look down and frown upon the poor, the poverty, and people with mental illness. And how we need to take this more serious. But no, forget all these fucking social problems that Joker touched upon. Let's the Joker seems like uh, a movie that Bernie Sanders would have made. I mean, the Joker talks about how uh, he couldn't afford his health care to see his counselor and his get his medicine anymore and uh, how he should have Medicare for all and how poor people need more free things in order to make it in the world or else they're just going to die or go crazy like his mom or like him. Uh, it's it, it's a very left wing movie, for sure. Let's have a better woke agenda, and let's go full fucking woke. Yes. See. Okay. So that's what I was. That's okay. So the, yes, he's talking about the woke agenda, which means, I mean, dude, nothing is more woke than the Joker. The Joker is a full woke movie. It really is. Like the, mo the, the movie The Joker is all about being woke. It's all about helping the poor and Medicare for all. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's all about this stuff. The Joker, Parasite is not a woke movie at all. I assume he thinks because somebody who isn't white is in is starring in the movie that that's the woke agenda that getting people who aren't white to win best picture is is the agenda which would be dumb if that's what he's saying that is dumb i don't know there is nothing woke about parasite okay joker is a woke movie joker for sure is a woke movie and let's give Parasite, the first fucking thing they said, Parasite, the first foreign language movie to ever win Best Picture. Well, I'm pat yourself on the fucking back, Academy. Go pat your woke ass fucking selves on the fucking back. I am sorry, this is fucking ludicrous and fucking asinine. I can't believe this shit. And again, I wanted Joker to win. It could have been any fucking film. Little fucking women, I don't give a fuck. You guys could have gave that shit to fucking... Um, I don't care. Shazam. You could have gave it to Shazam. I don't care. 
but a film shouldn't be nominated for best foreign film and then also have the opportunity to win best picture. Because none of the other best picture nominations had a chance to be nominated for anything else. You know, I mean, yes, the technical awards and all that shit, but if best foreign film is the equivalent of foreign best picture, then why is the film in our country, the country which we all fucking watch in the academy, okay? We watch those fucking films. Why is Parasite then nominated to that? Again, how many fucking people in this country seen Parasite? I guarantee it's probably 2% of the fucking population. I wonder what percent of the population sees any movie. I mean, dude, what what's the most popular movie to date? Let's let's check this out real quick. Uh, come on. Okay. Avengers Endgame. don't think it says okay the movies top 10 movies that sold the most tickets by now as you likely well know the avengers endgame has officially earned 2.792 billion dollars in counting the worldwide box office it is of course a huge culture phenomenon see that doesn't tell me how many tickets it sold though Oh, come on. Okay, so number one is Gone with the Wind. Is ultimately well-seen movie of all time and received a whopping 10 Oscars including Best Picture. Uh, Lavish Tale, 20th Century. Okay. This isn't telling me anything. I want to know how many tickets were sold so I can compare that to the population of the United States. Um, <sighs> One in two Americans plan to watch Avengers Endgame. Okay, so that's about fifty percent of the country it says plans to uh, more than a hundred million people went to see avengers endgame in its first week Whew. yeah it just keeps saying how how much money it made it doesn't tell us okay three point two seven three point two seven million so wow okay fifty percent of the country 
It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It was ridiculous last year when Roma was nominated. If you are nominated for Best Foreign Film, you should be invalid to be nominated for Best Fucking Picture. Okay, do we go to other countries and in their Best Pictures is fucking 1917 nominated? 1917 again is a British film. And I don't understand why he thinks you should be invalid to win Best Film. Oscars, as far as I understand, it's not just Best U.S. Films. Uh, now, I say that while also recognizing that they have a best foreign film category. So I don't know. That's actually a hard one. But I don't know why he thinks that – he hasn't explained it yet – why winning best foreign film should uh, make it to where you can't win best picture. I don't know. That's a legit question. Can someone tell me if that's true or not? I just want to know. It's ridiculous. It's the Oscars and their fucking woke-ass fucking agenda, and I'm fucking tired of it. I am tired of these fucking agendas. I don't understand. Why is Parasite woke? What is woke about Parasite? This guy has absolutely no clue what he's talking about. Why can't the best movie win the best picture? Why do we have to fucking put this? Anyway, I'm done. My blood pressure is high. I I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I had too much to drink. I'm not going to. Ah, he had too much to drink. I knew it. All right. Well, guys, I did it. I said I was going to do it. I'm a man of my word, so I did it. Now he's seen the movie. Now let's watch and see if he says it is not a woke movie. There's nothing woke about it. Let's see what he has to say. Last night, I sat down and I watched Parasite. And now I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about the best picture of the year. I can't believe I'm watching another video of his. The way he talks is going to make my head explode. Oh, my goodness. He's drunk again, apparently. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. If you're finding me for the very first time, please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, new to me, you don't really know what's going on, after the Oscars, I kind of made a video where a lot of people did not like, they called me out on it, they shared it on Twitter, it went viral, and I've been getting a lot of heat since then because apparently people felt like I criticized Parasite without watching the movie because I was really rooting for the Joker, and some people thought I really criticized Parasite without actually watching the film. I don't feel like I criticized it, but doesn't really matter because I did promise Andy Signore when I was on his channel and did my interview with him on Popcorn Plant, I promised him I would watch the movie and give uh, an honest official review. I'm not going to go into skits. I'm not going to do any comedy. This is going to be me just sitting down and talking about Parasite and my experiences watching Parasite. So I, I got to sit down. I got to watch Parasite. The first thing I want to kind of say off the bat is I know I'm kind of walking into a, a shit storm doing this review because if I say I didn't like the movie, then people are going to be like, oh, you're just fucking racist. You don't like the movie. You're a hater. If I did say I liked the movie, then people are automatically going to say, well, now you're just backpedaling. So I'm just letting everybody know that I'm fully aware that in the comment section is going to be a lose-lose situation, but I don't care. I want That is very brave of him. I will give him that. Um, there's a lot... It, it, when everything you're saying is viewable by other people and they can even go back and look at other things you've said, it's all very public. It is hard to come back and give a different opinion from what you thought before. If you watch episode one of Tom Foolery podcast, my views are completely different by episode 10 and 11. Okay. It's a hard thing to do. And people criticize me for it. And lots of people say, Hey, there's some stuff that you said early on. Like we talked about before where I said, I've kind of gone down the alt-right pipeline. Uh, it, there's lots of stuff where I definitely uh, threw out some dog whistles of the alt-right early on. And um, now people say I should take this stuff down. Now, I don't. I feel like if I take it down, now I'm, I'm running away 
from what I said before uh, it, it, and pretending it never happened, which I think is worse, but it is a lose-lose situation. I keep it up and I'm still throwing out dog whistles or I take it down and I'm, I, I'm running away from what I said and um, it is a lose-lose situation. So I want to give him a lot of credit coming back on uh after as public as it was his whole uh parasite rant i want to give him credit that he did come back on uh to whether regardless of what his uh end opinion is um he should get the credit for that I want to do my review i promise i was going to do my review and this is going to be my review of the movie now that also said it's going to be spoiler free I am not going to spoil anything because spoiling anything is going to ruin anybody else's who hasn't seen the movie is going to ruin that for them. So I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm going to keep everything as vague as possible. So went in, watched Parasite. The first thing I have to say is the fact that it being subtitled only didn't really bother me as much as I thought it was going to bother me. I've watched foreign films, mostly like foreign old stuff like uh, Drunken Master, you know, some of those films that Jackie Chan made back in the day. But I was mostly watching those films for the action, not much for the dialogue. So I was kind of worried going into Parasite, like how much am I going to be focused on the subtitles and not really, uh, you know, the, what's going on on screen. But after five minutes, I completely forgot about it. And honestly, by the end of the movie, it, it could have been all in English and it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, so that is a that is an excellent start for him. Okay, the people who would call him racist and would act like just because it's not a white person and it's not all in English uh, that now he's racist, he has now put that to bed. He has started this video off tremendously. He's recognized that he's in a lose-lose situation and he has given uh, and said that he did not mind the credits at all, which I didn't either. Or the, the captions, the subtitles, I didn't mind it at all. Um, I like to read subtitles at the pace that they're talking in. Some other languages like French and, and Spanish, they talk so much faster than we do to where I don't want to read it that fast. I can, but I don't want to. I want to be able to process things and look at the screen and look at the subtitles at the same time. In this movie, they talk very slowly. So you could look at the subtitles, look at them, look at the subtitles, look at them. You were able to keep up with everything very easily. Because I was so dialed into what was going on that I totally forgot they were speaking another language. So I, if anybody who hasn't seen Parasite is worried about the subtitles, don't. Because you'll be so engaged into the story and what's going on that you're totally going to forget that they're even speaking a different language. With that said, I would still really much like to have a dubbed version of this movie. But That's exactly what I said when it was over. I was like, man, I, I didn't mind the subtitles so much, but it would have been better if they had just dubbed it over in English. Like I hate it when movies are dubbed over in English. I can't watch like the Kung Fu movies uh, just because I hate the dubbing so much, but this movie, I would have loved to have seen uh, dubbed over in English. I uh, would have made it a little bit better. I like to keep my eyes on the screen and see what's going on the whole time. But like I said, it didn't make too big of a difference. Uh, I'm good with the subtitle version. And uh, I just want to talk about this movie because um, since I got done watching the movie, it's been playing over and over again in my head, if that makes any sense. I think, first of all, I think Parasite is a fantastic movie. I'm just going to say that right out the gate. I think fa this movie is a fantastic movie. That means he's going to now double down on, he, he's saying he's getting it out the way. He thinks it's a fantastic movie, but... The director, uh, Bon Joan Hun, uh, probably butchering his name completely, he deserved that Best Director Award. Uh, he absolutely deserved that Best Director Award. Would I rather have Todd Phillips win it? Absolutely. I think Todd Phillips did a fantastic job with the Joker, but when you break down Parasite and you break down how many fucking layers, like this movie is so multi-layered on so many different levels that when you get done watching the movie and you're just sitting in bed, you're trying to process everything that you, you're going through. 
and that you've seen, and you're like, oh my god, this connects to this, and this means that, and then, and like, well, that's that, but it also can mean this, and it's so multi-layered, and I wasn't expecting this film to be multi-layered. I knew going in that a lot of people are like, well, if you like the Joker, you're gonna like this, because it really dives into, you know, the upper class, what they how they look down on the lower class and so i knew that going in and it was there but there's so many other layers to that the title parasite and what that actually means and how it really dives into what a parasite is and how all these characters in their own way are parasites and how parasites feed off of it, it, it's a real deep thing i don't want to get too involved in it because i don't want to spoil anything for you but you, you think this movie is doing one thing for the first half of this movie and by the way, it's hilarious. This movie is very, very funny in the beginning. I was laughing my ass off through the first 45 to 50 minutes of this movie, just having a great time laughing. I'm really enjoying it. I'm thinking the movie's going in one direction, right? I'm like, well, obviously they're doing this, this, this. You know, he's going to do that. And and eventually at the, at, one, at the whole one point of the movie, the whole family's going to be there. Like, I had that in the back of my head. I knew what they were trying to do. But then midway through, there's a curveball that you weren't expecting that changes the whole the whole plot of the movie in a way it changes everything that happens from that point on forward it just creates this domino effect and it, it leads up to this event that i would just you know this birthday party event i'm not going to go into details this event at the birthday party where i was literally sitting up in bed just in awe mouth drop like what the hell is going on the birthday party scene is amazing um the thing is, I wasn't so struck by it like he was. I saw it coming. Um, I didn't see it coming like that. But you, uh, I, I feel like I'm going. Yeah, I'm going too far. And the ending of this movie, I think, is fantastic. There's a scene that about brought me to tears where you see all these poor people and what happened to them and, and where they're at right now because of the tragedy of the of this rainstorm. And it's really saddening, especially when you look at it and realize that this does happen very, very often and no one really cares. And then it goes into the state of of really how the rich treat the poor and no matter how nice you are or whatnot you are still just lower class you you smell to them you we all have the same stench and the birthday party scene i really wish i could do spoilers but that's really what um creates this this domino effect and you can't it, it's just a brilliantly made film and I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it so much. In fact, that I'm actually thinking about going purchasing the Blu ray now because I really want to watch this movie again. I am definitely going to watch Parasite again. I purchased it from the beginning instead of renting it. I definitely want to see it a second time. I feel like there's stuff that I might have missed by looking at the subtitles. I don't think there was, but there's, there might be. So I definitely want to watch it again. Um, anybody who watches it will probably also want to watch it a second time. It's not like on a uh, inception level of needing to watch it like 10 times to figure it out, but it is, um, there does seem to be like a lot of uh, messaging in there. And it, it amazes me again when he talks about how like he hates the woke messaging uh, from the Academy and from the Oscars, but he's still, uh, you know, talking about how like this income equality is so hard to watch and it really, it really touched him and how watching the Joker, like ha struggling with, uh, with mental illness and not being able to afford his medication. And, um, you know, like it, it amazes me that he is able to empathize with these things while still acting like the Academy or the Oscars are too woke for him. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, 
because a lot of the woke stuff is about inequality. It's all about inequality and how people are struggling and, uh, and being woke is being enlightened enough to see uh, your own privilege. Uh, so I'm, I'm amazed that he is able to see these things, but not recognize that he is actually being woke. I hate that terminology. And while I, I, I'm on board with a lot of what he's saying here and a lot of what he's talking about with the Joker movie and with Parasite, I am not, I hate the terminology woke. I, I'm, I can get into that another time. Soon as I got done watching, the first thing I did was I messaged Adam. And I'm like, dude, you know, and, and this movie is, is really, really good. After seeing Parasite, I still want Joker to win Best Picture. Not saying that Joker is a better film than Parasite or Parasite is a better film than Joker. I think it's very special that we have two films like Joker and Parasite that are very similar in themes, both being nominated for Best Picture. Joker speaks to me a little differently only because of what mental illness does and gun violence and how we need to take control of that, especially with our country where every seems like every other week we're getting like mass shooting somewhere. I think Joker really plays on that. I, I still want Joker to win Best Picture for many reasons. One, I think it's a multi-layered movie. I, I think it talks a lot about society and mental illness. And it's a comic book film. I do comic book videos on my channel. And I really wanted a comic book movie to win Best Picture. If Joker didn't win it, I don't think a comic book movie ever going to win Best Picture. But on the same side, if you're a Parasite fan, I can understand where you want Parasite to win Best Picture. First foreign film to ever win Best Picture. He is right. It's weird that comic book films never even seem to get considered for awards whatsoever. Um, the Dark Knight with Heath Ledger as the Joker. I mean, my goodness, I cannot believe that did not win just every single award. I... I understand that they like dramas and they like uh, serious movies or musicals or, um, you know, they have very specific genres that they are biased towards. I get that. But to totally ignore the biggest, uh, the biggest genre in movies right now, which is the comic book industry in movies, you know, the Avengers, all the Iron Man movies, the Batman movies, uh, now the Joker movie, uh, the Spider-Man, the Wonder Woman's, the, you know, the uh, Captain Marvel, Shazam. Um, it is, it is definitely the, the biggest thing in movies right now. And the fact that the Oscars continuously passes all of these movies up as if they're not even close to deserving awards. Uh, it blows my mind. It does. I understand that it is, it seems like a niche market, but right now it is the biggest market out there for, uh, for box office. So I, I, I think it's odd that they're still not going to give these guys awards and, and maybe not awards like best directing. Okay. Uh, maybe not awards like best acting for sure, or even best writing. Fine. Um, but I don't know. They, they, they could definitely win stuff like best scene or um, best casting, um, best costumes. Um, you know, there's all sorts of stuff that these sorts of movies can win. And uh, Heath Ledger easily could have won best acting. Um, Christopher Nolan could have won best directing. I mean, if you look at every other movie like Dunkirk or, or uh, Inception or anything else that Christopher Nolan has done, it's all very similar to The Dark Knight. Like it all is very, very similar in the camera work and uh, all of the directing. It is just uh, the production. It's all so similar in every single movie. They all look like trailers, the way that everything scans and, and rolls. Um, so, yes, I I think that it's about time that the Oscars start recognizing comic book movies. So it was really out of Parasite and Joker. First comic book film to ever win or first foreign film to win. I still stand by the fact that I think if you're nominated for best foreign film, you shouldn't be nominated for best picture. I think it's either or. I think it doesn't give a lot of opportunities to the other film. That's just my opinion. But I am not taking away anything from 
the, the, the script writing to the cinematography to the great directing of Parasite because Parasite is a phenomenal movie. A phenomenal movie. I enjoyed it. I'm going to be watching this movie again. But that is my honest review of the movie itself without going too far into spoilers because I would love to have a deep dive spoiler discussion. Maybe whenever I get Adam back over here, we'll have a, a spoiler discussion on Parasite and really talk about you know what he got from the movie, what I got from the movie. I thought the cast of this movie was phenomenal i loved the sister the sister who played jessica i loved her absolutely loved her so that's my thoughts on it. for sure the best acting in the movie was definitely done by the sister it was very good and the in parasite i i would recommend this movie for just about anybody i mean it, it's more i i don't want to call it a thriller but that's as close as i can get for some sort of genre uh, for some sort of movie genre to box this up in. Um, but it, it's definitely a movie that gets you thinking a little bit. It's definitely, it, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's entertaining. Um, it, you know, they're conning this family and, uh, and find out that there's other people um, who, who are kind of getting in their way. And then after a while, you you start to wonder if maybe the rich people are actually the parasites feeding off of the poor people, and um, and then how the poor people actually look up to the rich people, and this family sees the rich people for what they are. They're just a bunch of punks that they can get over on and, and take money from, but the other poor people look up to these rich people as if they're gods. They look up to them as their masters and um it is a just a brilliant way of of putting it together and the acting uh is amazing the directing is amazing i love camera work camera work and panning are some of my favorite things in uh in the film industry and uh i really enjoyed the uh the shots that they had in this movie um but that's about it for me uh if you want to check out more of my content, you can go and look up Tom Foolery podcast on YouTube. We got a new episode coming out tomorrow night. We'll be live on YouTube every Saturday night. We stream live on Facebook with streaming Saturdays and we're on all sorts of different uh, platforms, iHeartRadio, Podbean, uh, Google Podcasts, anywhere that you can find podcasts, you can find Tom Foolery, uh, or you can go to TomFooleryPC.com, and you can get all sorts of little clips and videos, just little best conversations in a in a podcast. We'll take those out and put it into a video, or you can click on Listen to Podcast and just listen to each episode right here. Um, or if you want to watch the podcast, it's right here. So uh, check out Tom Foolery. And then we also have Streaming Saturdays. I'm not going to click on that again. Last time I clicked on it and then it started overlapping the sound uh, one on top of the other. Uh, but go check out Tom Foolery. Or you can even just like us on Facebook and you'll get all of the... Uh, notifications and updates that you need. If we come out with new content, we will let you know by putting up a post every time we got something new out. So go check us out. I appreciate you watching and I will, well, what will I do? Oh, and I'll see you guys later. Later fools.